Welcome, welcome, people. This is another Queued Up production, and we are staying with the series of Make Music Faster. Uh, today, we're going to go over key commands. Key commands is probably one of the best unfortunately most forgotten things when it comes to making music especially if you're working generally within a DAW right the key commands just makes things go a lot faster and uh, make things a lot easier you can you know get in there and get your creations out really really quick so we're just gonna go over a few of them that I know have helped me in the past hopefully some of them help you and of course uh, if you ever have a question of some other ones that you may want to use or something like that you can always go to the uh, propeller head website uh, and they actually have a download section where you can download the manual uh, through gear help uh, right up here in this region okay so let's just get to it uh, some of my favorite ones uh, first uh, just a little bit of clarification with the actual command slash control you, you're gonna hear me say that quite a bit uh, command is for Mac users and control is for Windows users so just kinda throwing that out there okay so our first one is going to be uh, function and F8. Okay, function in F8 is, um, in my opinion, this is something that I think Propellerhead probably could do a little bit better with when it comes to us people who like to use MIDI a lot, which um, I do. Uh, I like to use um, Quantize sometimes and change the value and things like that. I wish they had an easier way. Maybe I just don't know what it is, but they wish they had an easier way other than having this tools window up to be able to do that. I know that there's some things you can do with velocity with the uh, pencil tool and things like that but I just wish it was a couple of key commands you could use and, and make that process a little bit easier but anyway so function f8 function f8 is uh, is a good one that you'll probably get some some longevity out of if you want to get to it and uh, you know you can see real quick legato notes um, if you want to raise it up an octave down an octave that type of deal so that's one Okay, another one uh, is if you want to load an instrument or load an audio track rather than having to um, come over here and then go to instruments and, and then do it that route. If you didn't want to do it that way, um, basically it's not going to throw an instrument in, but it is going to give you the ability to choose one faster. Uh, so that quick command is it's going to be control or command and I. Okay, so what that's going to do is bring this box up. Uh, when this comes up, then, of course, you can go from there and you can choose whatever instruments you want. If you have any VSTs, you can go through and search that way and, uh, and bring them up. Next up is Control-Command-T. Uh, control or Command, and you hit the T, and that's going to actually install an audio track, which we are not going to use. So then we will just hit Command and Z. Command-Z will undo anything that you've done. Uh, I like Control Z. Uh, that's not really a, a quick one. That should be one that a lot of people already know, especially if you do anything with Word documents and things like that. Control Z or Command Z um, always takes you back. Undo. Uh, so the next one uh, is strictly for Windows users, and and I don't. Of course, this isn't a Windows uh, platform that I'm on right now. But if you hit Insert, Insert will also create an instrument. So. Uh, if you're you Windows users, you have two ways you can do it. You can go Control plus T, or you can just hit Insert, and it'll bring that up. Um, and while we're on the subject of um, uh, Undo with the Control Z or Command Z, you can also do Control or Command Y, and then that will redo what you just you know had before. So if I do that, then that's going to put that back. And if I hit Command Z then it'll take it away okay so that's another good tip okay uh, the next one um, is going to be uh, one that I wish it was a better way to do it but you know I, I guess it works fine is if my playhead is here and I want to take my playhead back if you're working with a mouse you have to hit stop stops gonna take it that way uh, if you start playing it from here and you play and then you stop it doesn't jump back to the point where you initially started from and it doesn't go back to the beginning you have to actually hit option and uh, one of your arrow keys so if I wanted to go to the the beginning then I go option and left if I want to go to the end then I hit option and right so pretty self-explanatory uh, but again I wish it was a better way to if I hit stop it should automatically go to the beginning and that's just because I'm a logic user so 
Okay, um, so uh, the next one is if you want to take advantage of using any of these tools rather than having to go over here to, to uh, uh, bring up any of them. All you have to do is look at your QWERTY keyboard and start from Q all the way to U. So if you focus in this area right here, right up under the sequencer tab, then you'll see Q. I'm already on the arrow. If I go to W, I go to the pencil tool, so on and so forth, all the way to the letter U. So just walk that back. And that's another quick tip if you're somebody who likes to switch between the eraser tool and you don't want to have to hit delete and split notes and things like that, then you can do it that way. Next up we have quantize. Uh, quantize, um, some people use quantize and some people don't. I, for me personally it depends on what genre of music I'm making. Uh, if I'm doing something that's a lot of boom bap type thing then of course quantize is kind of the enemy, right? It should be a little bit sloppy. That's kind of the way that that kind of goes. Um, but again, uh, if I want to use uh, my arrow and I want to uh, just draw draw notes in, then if I hit down command or control for uh, windows, then I can just draw things in as I want to. And then if I wanted to, uh, to quantize this, then key commands would be command or control A and then next I would hit option K and then that will quantize it okay so let's say um, it's already set to 1 16th and it's on snap but let's say if I took the snap off and then I move the notes to where they are absolutely not on the grid and we'll take that quantize let's put it to a quarter note and then if I wanted to to quantize it again I would hit control a or option or command or control or co correction command or control if you're on Windows plus a and then hit K then as you see the the notes shifted and they actually lined up to where they should line up Okay, so again, we can hit our Control Z and we can back all that up if we wanted to, or we could just delete it, Control A, however you decide to do it. Okay, so um, our next one is going to be, uh, let me see, let's go a little perk. Okay, so our next one we're going to talk about uh, is going to be turning that snap off, and it's really easy. If I wanted to turn that back on, just hit the letter S. Simple as that. Um, now, I have not figured out a way to change these by key command. I'm not sure if there is a way to do that. Um, if there is a way, please drop one in the comments below and, and tell me how to do it. And you trust me, I'm all ears. Uh, I'm sure uh, the, the other subscribers would, would like to see that as well. Um, oh, but make sure you uh, be sure you like and subscribe, you know, share, do all that good stuff. All right. Uh, so the next one we want to talk about is record. Uh, these fall into the category of the actual uh, transport down here. Of course, if we wanted to uh, make it play, then the space bar, that's pretty universal. Then that makes that start. Uh, and then remember, we want to go back to the beginning. So we would hit option and left arrow and let's say now we actually want to record uh, pretty simple all you're gonna do is hit the command or control and hit uh, the return and then that starts your recording stop you want to go back to the beginning option left arrow and you can go back and do that again or if you wanted to undo what you just recorded you can do that as well um, okay uh, the next one that I want to cover and then I'm gonna get to my hit ticket one the very last one is the most important uh, but before we get to that uh, just a simple just a period now the period sounds like it would be um, kind of insignificant but by hitting the period if you look what I just had happen I'll go control Z uh, on this track right here and I will um, see if we can no. Uh, we'll leave it like that okay so for this one if you look 
I only have one lane. We'll go ahead and exit out of that. I only have one lane and one area uh, to actually uh, do some MIDI in. But if I want to do a second lane or say I want to take a different take to it, I want to you know, try a different variation, but I still want to keep the other one. Um, it, I have to admit the way I used to do it is I click it and I hit option and I just move this over and then go ahead and do whatever I'm going to do in here. And I just used to do it the hard way and just keep doing different takes that way and then I would finally drag in the one that I wanted to keep um, again we don't have to do that sitting control Z uh, we don't have to do that so all you have to do is just simply hit period you hit period it goes in and gives you a new lane uh, that's gonna be your new recordable lane up top it's gonna mute the one that you already had on the bottom so that's also a good handy tip, handy tip to, to keep everything working alright now sometimes you want to record and you want to hear that metronome and sometimes you do not all you have to do is hit the letter C and if you look down in this area here it will either turn the click on or turn it off simple as that uh, the pre-roll I tend to like the pre-roll myself so I normally have that on uh, but of course that's uh, your preference and last but not least the absolute number one keystroke of them all everyone must know must perform a million times a day and that is command or control s what that does is that actually allows you to save if you already have a title or something already named uh within it you just work within the same project control s command s save 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 um, I would hate to have anyone experience some of the things that I've experienced by laying out a full project um, thinking that everything is good I got into my creative flow had everything laid out and something happens either you get called away you forget to plug up your computer it shuts down um, the program crashes anything I mean you got to prepare for all of that man sometimes if you have external hard drives and your external hard drive kind of kicks offline and it takes the program down or it totally disconnects from the you know the source program that you're using anything can happen man trust me control or command s it is a producer's best friend uh, with that that's my um, my key command and keystroke uh, two cents and hopefully that helps someone out there uh, be sure to like and subscribe um, make sure you hit that notifications button so you stay informed and most of all stay queued up peace